All right, y'all. So I want to tell y'all about the bestest wig ever. And I'm wearing it now. Yeah. So I was put on recently to Innovative Wigs, their invisible part wig, as you see. My hair is out here. What is out right now is a super thin part. And I'm going to show you guys. Y'all, when I tell you I love this wig, like the way it moves, look at the way it moves. Like real hair, it is easily flowing through like this isn't a fresh wash either and i love the fact that it blends so well with my hair even down to the edges this is the jada wig y'all what i like about this hair is the fact that when my hair because it's natural expands this hair expands as well and so it moves with it so if you don't like big hair you probably don't want this one you might want to go for like a yakier texture yaki a straighter texture or a curly texture but all i can speak to is this jada wig and i am in love y'all i'm in love for the simple fact that it is like my hair it's not stiff and i only have to leave out a little piece and I don't have to worry about no lace, y'all. No lace, y'all, no lace. I leave out very little hair here on the sides and it's comfortable and they say it's breathable as well. It is a bomb wig. So I just wanna hop on here really quickly to share that wig with y'all. I'm gonna drop the link below. I love it. I love it a lot. I cannot speak to any wig that is not the Jada wig, okay? I have not tried out any of the other hair. This is the wig that I'm talking about, y'all. If you got questions, drop them below and I will answer them. But I'm in love with this wig and it just looks more natural than my lace thing. I like it a lot. This is literally the amount of hair that I have left out to go over. Can you see what that looks like? That's what it looks like. We so put this hair over here and it's enough to cover it. See that? And that's why they call it the thin part wig. So here's a tip for my people who have natural hair. What I do, first of all, when you straighten your hair, put olive oil on it, very little olive oil on it so that no humidity gets into it. That was the thing that was helping me for my natural hair, ladies. And then I take a huge roller and do that for the nighttime. A big roller, put it around there for the nighttime, and I'm set, y'all. I'm set. So this is how I do it. It's a little hard to do it on camera versus in a mirror, but I use this type of cold rod, wrap it, and then put it there. And the reason why I like this rod is it doesn't create an indentation with it. And I would just say, if you want your hair to be straight with no curl at all, then get a bigger rod. But honestly, like once I brush it into it, the curl falls out anyways, because it's such a loose curl. Now, the only thing I will say about this hair is when it comes to curling it, there's like a whole process that they suggest to get the curl to hold. You spray your hair with holding spray, curl it with the curling rod, hot rod, and then pin curl it, spray with holding spray again, leave it for 30 minutes. I usually do that when I start getting ready and I just leave it for however long it takes me to get ready. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and check out this one because there's many more life hacks on this channel, y'all, and tons of tips.